Welcome back. This is going to be question number four for part E. I don't think I'm going to get through the long answer questions for this part and for part F. I might just do the short answer questions. But again, please do subscribe and like. I wish you guys good luck in your exams. So, Alima owns a small high street. Okay, let's, let me just... This is the same one again. Alima owns a small high street store selling clothes, shoes, and fashion accessories. Alima plans to start using online systems to assist her business. Alima, Alima's customers must create an account in order to place an, um, to place an order. The customers are asked to create a password for their account. Describe how verification and validation would be used to ensure that the password entered is suitable. Now... We obviously have to know what verification and validation are first. So to verify something, you double check it. You, you check it against the original. So let's say your password was, obviously don't ever make this your password, but let's say your password was 1234. You have to double check it. So sometimes you have double entry on websites where they ask you to type your email address again to verify that you've typed the um, email address correctly the first time. Or it could be that they ask you to type your password twice. Whichever case, that's how you verify something. You check it against the original. To validate means to check or to get what you have asked for. So if I say, what is your, well, what is your age? And you give me, I am 100. Typically, this is correct. But typically speaking, when someone asks for age, they want a number, right? So type 100. If I ask you for your name and you type 8 zero eight i mean that could look like bob as well but ideally you want name to be something like bob so if i've asked you for letters don't give me numbers if i've asked you for date and time don't give me something i did not ask for so give me what i've asked for if i said to you that it has to be x characters long and it must have an uppercase a lowercase numbers and letters and all of that stuff that's what you have to give me so what they have here the password will be entered twice or asked to be re-entered compare compared to um, ensure they match. That's, that's correct. That's what I said, more or less. Validation is the password will be checked against a priest, uh, against preset rules to ensure correct length, ensure a mix of characters. So more or less what I said before as well. So again, to verify, you double check it, you enter twice. To validate, you um, get what you have asked for. So I mean, a good way to remember this, validate, you could, uh, oh no, 